Hello everyone, this is Chino Rodriguez and today I'm going to show you how to change how to change the configurations on a printer that has already been installed. So let's say for example that you installed a a network printer as a USB printer. So let's say you have the option for USB capability and you also have the option for network capability, which is the case uh, at my house. So I I had a brother printer, laser printer that I had installed in my upstairs office and it's connected directly with a USB cable to my computer. Now what I want to do is I want to move the printer to a centralized location so that way if I'm somewhere else in the house I can just go ahead and print it and not have to worry about going all the way upstairs and, and you know log into my computer or print it whatnot. And so that's the case today. Um, the the other uh, scenario would be if, let's say, for example, at your job, someone has a, a USB printer connected to their computer. It's, it's not a network printer. It's just specifically USB. But the manager decided to invest money and purchase a USB to Ethernet adapter. A very popular one would be HP's. Uh, Hewlett Packard's Jet Direct, and so what that'll do, it'll enable a USB device to to basically be a, a network uh, device because it'll assign it an IP address, and then the Jet Direct would translate the information uh, via USB to the device. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go into uh, Devices and Printers in Windows 7. And I'm going to go to the, my, my brother printer, my laser printer, printer properties. And so if you're following along and doing it at your residence or work, um, what you want to do is you want to go to the ports tab so that you can see which port this device is using. And so as you can see right now, it's set to USB. This is the default naming convention that Windows gives it. And so I went ahead and went into my router and uh, I configured a static IP specifically for, for the brother printer. And I'm going to go ahead and add that now. So just make sure that that's selected and go ahead and click add port. Select standard TCP IP port, then click new port. Uh, the TCP IP wizard is going to open. Just go ahead and click next. And here's where you would put in that static address that uh, that you have. In my particular case, is going to be 192.168.0.200. Click Next. Okay, so it's done. Now we're going to click Finish and close out of this window. All right, so now you can see that the, the port has been added, and you can see that the description that it's a TCP port but you don't see the printer. The reason for that is because you have to click apply to complete um, all the setting changes. So go ahead and click apply and there you have it. So now you'll see the printer listed you know with the TCP IP port um, selected. Alright so if you want to double check go to advanced printers make sure that it has the correct driver you can go there and uh, that's how you would that's how you would change it now if for whatever reason you get any errors this happened to me a while ago if let's say you log into your computer and the USB cable is not connected this would be dimmed out so you wouldn't see it all colorful it would be kinda grayed out and so it won't allow you to, after you do the change, it still won't allow you to print. So what you have to do is plug in the USB cable so that it can notice that the device is there and then it'll accept the changes. And that's how you change uh, for the configuration settings on a printer from USB to an IP, or I should say a TCP IP port connection. Thanks for watching.